Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. On this October Wednesday, I have some Bob's Picks for you, where I pick some films I think are worth a first or second or maybe 14th look, or maybe a movie we haven't shown before, or perhaps something we haven't really shown in prime time for quite a spell. Well, this time I'm starting with a couple of movies that together emphasize what a versatile actress the beautiful Jean Tierney was. Jean Tierney always celebrated for her beauty and mystique, but never really given enough credit in my mind for her acting chops. We're going to start with Jean Tierney in the one film which did bring her an Academy Award nomination, the 1945 spellbinder, Leave Her to Heaven. One of those movies that once seen is almost impossible to forget. It's Jean looking dazzling in technicolor, playing a woman named Ellen who's warm and loving and eager to please, devoted to those she cares about, but a woman with one fatal flaw, when she loves someone or something, she loves too much, and disaster usually follows. We'll be following that Jean Tierney with a delightful romantic comedy she's in called The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, a film and a performance that's a 180 degree turn from this next film we're about to show. Both these movies well worth watching too, believe me. We begin with the drama in which Jean Tierney becomes maniacally obsessed with handsome Cornell Wilde to the point that she doesn't want anything or anyone to distract him from her. Not anyone in his family or her family, no one at any cost. It's a movie that came out one year after Gene Tierney had starred in the classic murder mystery, Laura. The director in charge this time being John Stald, and there's also a great music score in this movie by Alfred Newman, and an excellent cast that also includes another beauty, Gene Crane, plus Vincent Price, Chill Wills, and a great friend of ours here at TCM, Daryl Hickman, who has a particularly unforgettable moment in the movie as Cornell Wilde's kid brother, somebody Cornell Wilde particularly adores. Watch out. Here's a spellbinder from 1945, Gene Tierney in Leave Her to Heaven. <laughs> 